Question 9. A rectangular swimming pool is 25 metres long and 10 metres wide. You can see in the picture lots of people splashing around, enjoying themselves, doing a bit of swimming in that swimming pool. But the picture really isn't important for what we need, so we can scroll down and ignore the picture. What have we got to do? It says David swims 5 lengths, Rosie swims 12 widths. How much further does David swim than Rosie? Well, we've got some space here for working out. So the simplest thing to do here is take one person at a time. So let's look at David first. He swims five lengths. Now each length is 25 meters. So he's going to do 25. So he's going to do that five times. So we need to do 25 times by five. And it's going to be a column method for multiplication. So five fives are 25. Put your five in, carry the two. And five twos are 10. Plus that two is 12. Put your two in. And your one can go straight in because there's no more columns left. So David is swimming 125 meters. Now we need to figure out how far Rosie swims. So we'll use a different color for that. Now Rosie is swimming 12 widths. So a width is 10 meters. And she's going to do that 12 times. So we're going to need to do 10 times 12. Now any time you do a number times in by 10, that's nice and easy. Because there's no decimals involved, you can just put a zero on the end. So that's going to be 120 meters. I don't really like saying just put a zero on the end because it wouldn't have worked if there was a decimal and we would have had to have thought about moving the digits one place over to the left to make the number bigger. So let's just double check we understand what is going on here. So we've got tens and units now anytime you times by 10 you move every digit one place to the left to make the number bigger so the one is going to move into the hundreds column the two is going to move one place over into the tens column and because there's a gap in the units we fill any gaps with a zero so it's still 120 but it's worth explaining about moving digits when you're multiplying by 10 so rosie is swimming 120 meters now the question actually then says how much further does david swim than rosie well david's swimming 125 meters rosie's swimming 120 meters so how much further is 125 and 120 well you can probably do that in your head it's an extra five meters so the final answer in the answer box needs to be five meters and there you have it remember to make your working out nice and clear because the clearer you're working out is the more likely you are to get the marks